Here is a simple data set. Sales of two products over 10 years. Product A and B. How should you visualize this data? What chart can you use to show data like this and why? Well, you can pause and have a little ponder, uh, but if you're ready to dive in, let's dive straight in. Let's come out of presentation mode. Did you answer, well, what are the lifetime sales of pro both products? If you did, then maybe just the number 3,468 is exactly what you need, because that might be the most important piece of information. Most people probably think the line series is the best way to show this information, and generally, we would show time as a line. And you can clearly see the upward trend of sales over time in this data set. Because there's two products, most people would then think, well, we should break this down by each product. We can show it side by side, so you can really compare, look at each one individually, but also look at the magnitudes of sales, or one pane on top of each other, to show differences during the period of the data set. I suspect most people would think, this would be the best way to show this data. A and B on the same pane with a different color for each line, or a different line for each product. This is good because it shows the, really exposes the years in which B was a lot lower than A. And you can also see at the end that B finished higher than A in sales. It's very clear and kind of the standard best practice, right? Interestingly though, who said sum of sales was what you need to do? Let's duplicate sum of sales and turn one to a running total. If you look at the bottom, this is cumulative sales of both products. And what you can see is that A, the line in blue, has never undersold in its lifetime product B. So even though B has finished higher, A has always had a bigger lifetime combined sales. So who's to say that the running sum actually isn't the more important piece of information to show? Well, let's get rid of that now and go back to just the line. The problem with a line chart like this is that there's lots of noise between the start and end of the time period. So what you could do is exclude everything except the first and last years in the data set. This is a slope chart and very clearly shows that while B started lower than A, it now sells, sells more. This is interesting and really powerful if you are interested in the start and end. Let's get rid of that filter, go back to our start. Most people say time should be visualized as a line. Well, you can do different things like an area, stack them on both on top of each other. You know, there's an area, problems with area charts. It's very hard in this example to see how A has changed uh, because it's not got a flat baseline. Or you could do a bar chart. Stacked bars are very common. Again, very good at comparing, but bars are very good at comparing the actual values year on year. Uh, but again, we can't really see the difference between A and B, and we can't see how A, a has grown and shrunk over time. So we could do a side-by-side -side bar. I'm just going to get rid of the data window for this now. Side-by-side -side bars are very common and do allow you to look up the information, but they're not very easy to glance at. There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of combined information that's quite hard to see individual years. So what we could do is heresy, a line chart. The rules of DataViz, which are best only guidelines, so you shouldn't use lines to compare categorical data because the line suggests continuation. But the thing is, with this data set, what the line shows more clearly than any of the other charts we've shown is the years in which B outsold A. Because we're good at seeing slopes, we see that very, very clearly. So if your question is, when has B outsold A? It turns out that this line series, a kind of, kind of slope chart, is actually a really powerful way of seeing the data. But then to wrap up, I'm going to go back to a crosstab because even though a crosstab doesn't visually show you the data, who's to say that a crosstab isn't the best way of seeing things? Because with, at least with the table, you can look up any value you wish. And it might be that actually I'm, all I'm interested in is the final year's sales of data, product A and product B, 300 and 370. So what we've seen there, I'm now going to undo all the way, is we went from cross tab, slope chart, side by side bar chart, stacked bar, stacked area chart, line chart, slope chart, and then line charts of various different flavors with different measures. 
before going all the way back to our original lifetime sales of both products. Even with a simple data set, the question of which chart is the most relevant is full of complexity and very hard to answer. Good luck.